Hey, today finds us uh, on a trail hike here, and we're going on up this way, on up to uh, something mountain. I forget what it is, but anyhow, we'll see how it goes. Do I what? Do you know how long the trail is? Yeah, it's 27 miles. Oh. We won't be going all the way. Why? It's only 27 miles. That girl we've been watching on YouTube does 50 a day. Yeah, but she's 30. And that's probably her tops. 50. This would be fun on ATVs. It's a little steep here. Uh -huh. Oh, look how pretty. Yeah, it's pretty up in here. Think how much fun it'll be coming down. Just to rock out croppings. There's so many mule deer up here. Well, we'll see some here close up in a minute, I think. Well, we made it up to the top of the first mountain here, and it's pretty cool. Lots of stuff, lots of places for the deer to be. And the cougars. Cougars. They've, they've seen seven mountain lions in the area here uh, recently. All of them different. They've got them all on trail cams. But uh, anyhow, that mountain in the background is where we're headed up there. It may take a while. It may not be today because it's starting to look like rain. Anyhow, somebody put a flag there for us to follow. That's nice. Anyhow, here we go. Well, I guess you can see we're getting up there pretty good now. I'm going to go over here and take a look off the edge where Suzanne is going.
Well, we're up there. Well, we're way up here now. Some crows coming by laughing at us. That's not funny. But you can see way, way, way over in the distance. I think in that general direction is where Silver City is. We're not too far from there. Prime elk hunting country where we're at right now. This is all forest land here, which is public hunting. But if you shot an elk up here, Lord knows how you'd ever get it down. I think the elk hunting trip, all the fun ends when you pull a trigger. Okay, we're back, we're going back on up. We came upon a big rock while we were hiking here, and it's got these holes in it. And I'm saying that that was done by Indians several hundred years ago. Maybe not. Suzanne thinks they were made by some guy, crazy guy with an auger. No. <laughs> But anyhow, we're longer. still trekking. Oh, you can see some bright sunshine on the hill over there. But we got some pretty serious cloud cover. We got to keep an eye on it. We might have to run out of here. But anyhow, that's where we're headed on up there. And this trail is really nice. Some of it's pretty steep. But we're coming to a, a fence here. We got to cross the fence. And then we'll continue on later. It's looking really poor here. We're heading down the mountain, and those storms are, I'm afraid, are coming right at us. So, we're trekking along. We're going to make some pretty good time now. We had a good hike, though. It was a good hike. How, much, how many miles do you think we went? Several, anyhow. Yeah. I don't but anyhow, know. we were going to keep on going, but we kind of got washed out. Not yet, but it's looking bad. Just some pretty landscape and we're trekking right along. It's too bad on that dead tree there was a crow sitting there watching us just a minute ago but I couldn't get out camera quick enough. But anyhow, I don't know if you can see but up through the trees here in the distance that's water coming down. Not good. We gotta mm -hmm. keep moving. Okay, here we go. We're still trekking. Going downhill, downhill, downhill. We're in sunshine right now. Is that unbelievable? But off to our left is nasty. Just nasty. I think we're going to beat it. There's the prediction. Suzanne says we are going to beat the rain down the mountain. Yep. She's planning on running, I think. No. Nope. Because it looks bad right over there. That is really bad and it's dumping rain right there behind us. Ooh, it's getting closer. You might notice how Suzanne is rigged out. I am the one that's carrying the water and the rain gear and the poncho or the tarp and <laughs> and the camera gear and the poles but boy this is beautiful this reminds me of so much of Yellowstone Does it? yeah some of the trails we used to hike in Yellowstone were just just gorgeous Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some some nice person on the trail here painted a an arrow. You can go this way, or you this can way. go that way. That's pretty cool. For the ATV. And uh, I didn't film any yesterday, but we were back in on the ATV trails here and there's I mean there's like oh I don't know several hundred miles of look what a pretty rock it's pretty quartz. a souvenir for you it's quartzite I don't know what it is it looks like quartz it does look like quartz this is beautiful man this is beautiful 
I'd like to walk over the edge and show you down the edge over here because it really goes down steep. I'd like to show you that, but we got to stay on the trail because I think this trail could be bad if it gets muddy. Yeah. Okay. And we got to go to the store this afternoon, I think, to see if we can't find Suzanne a new pair of hiking boots. She put on, try putting on her hiking boots and the soles start falling off. Old age. Back from, well, what was that? They're only from Spain. I got them from Spain. That was like 20 years ago. No, it wasn't. It was five years ago we went to Spain. Oh, is that where we got them? I got them to go oh, to Spain. Oh, that's right. We bought them to go to Spain. So, too many miles in Spain, I guess. She never liked them anyhow. They're too stiff. They're too heavy. <clears throat> and let me tell you, if you get hiking boots that you don't like, your life could be miserable. But anyhow, we're going, still going downhill here. And it's fairly steep, actually. Let me cut yeah. this off. Uh, it's real pretty here. Watch your footing. Bad footing right here. Anyhow, we're still heading down. and We're going on down here. I don't know if you can see or not, but the trail goes on down through the forest there. And then around the corner and then down some more and somewhere else. I don't know. But anyhow, we're still moving. And the storm, we're still ahead of the storms. <laughs> 